On October 2nd, Purdue's Boilermakers kept up an old hex over Notre Dame by handing the Irish their only defeat of the campaign. This was the day Purdue's brilliant sophomore quarterback astounded the sports world by throwing four touchdown passes. Dawson warms up here with his pitch to Bob Springer. Dawson didn't waste any time putting the Boilermakers on the scoreboard. Long arm Len hit Johnny Kerr in the end zone for one of his four TD passes. <laughs> Dawson continues to riddle the Irish through the air. Halfback Rex Brock gathers it in, out by the right sideline, gets a block from Jim Peters and scampers into the end zone. Airborne we go again. This time, Dawson's target is Johnny Kerr, and Kerr makes a spectacular reception on the Notre Dame Five. <laughs> Purdue's Stu Holcomb begins to sense an upset. Tough break here, cost the Boilermakers another TD. Murakowski hits the goal line, but fumbles, and Jackie Lee recovers for the Irish. But the Notre Damers were always a threat. Sub-quarterback Paul Horning picks off a kickoff and threads his way all the way back to the Boilermaker one before he's finally hauled down. This is a beautiful run. The Irish get their touchdown on the next play with Nick Reich sliding over the right side, almost stopped by the Boilermakers at the goal line. Notre Dame's number one rooter, Frank Leahy, stands up to cheer. Just to top off a great afternoon's work, young Mr. Dawson throws to giant Lamar Lundy, who outlegs two Notre Dame pursuers and adds the Boilermakers' final TD. So Purdue once again upsets Notre Dame, the score 27 to 14.